hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i'll be teaching you how to make the floral lace crochet top that you have just seen at the beginning of the video um, the materials that you'll need are yarn and for the yarn i used alize cotton gold and i think i needed about two skins to finish a full project but just to be on a safe side you should have a total of three skins just to be on a safe side and then you'll also need a hook and for the hook i used a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook the yarn recommends a two to four millimeter crochet hook so i went for a 3.5 then you also need um a measuring tip uh this is going to measure across your shoulder and as well as your arm circumference and then you also need a pair of scissors to cut your ends because they'll be a lot of cutting and joining panels together and then you also need a dunning needle to weave in your end so let's get started this is an in-depth video and I recommend that you watch until the end so that you can understand how this stitch works so let's get started and learn how to make this beautiful top and if you would like to buy this outfit from me or to make a custom order, I'll be leaving all my details in the description box for those who would like to purchase anything or any outfit from me. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off with my back panel, uh, which is going to be the same exact as the front panel. So you're going to make a chain. One, two, three, four, five. And then you make a multiple of five of 25 so these are the extra five chains and for me i did a total of 100 chains which is uh 100 divided by 25 is four so i was going for four flowers across my front panel as well as my back panel so uh, i'm going to chain 100 one two three four five six so i have my 105 chains because the multiple of 25 is 100 plus the five chains so i have 105 so you're going to make sure that this chain can run across from shoulder to shoulder comfortably without being strained so um after this you're going to yarn over and prepare for a double crochet and you're going to go into the eighth chain from the hook so one two three four five six seven and eight and into the eighth chain you're going to place your double crochet so that will create a space here and then you're going to chain two skip two chains and then double crochet into the next chain two skip two chains and double crochet into the next chain two skip two chains and double crochet into the next so once you have four spaces one two three and four you're going to go into the next three chains with one double crochet into each so that will make a total that will make a total of four double crochets here and then you're going to chain two skip two chains one double crochet into the next chain two skip two chains one double crochet into the next and repeat this until you have a total of seven spaces chain two skip two one double crochet into the next chain two skip two one double crochet into the next chain two skip two one double crochet into the next so so far we have after the four double crochets we have one two three four five six and we want a total of seven spaces so chain two skip two chains and one double crochet into the next so that will make a total of seven spaces remember the first one is four of them now seven and then into the next three chains you're going to place one double crochet into each of them all right so after this you're going to 
chain two skip two and one double crochet into the next chain two skip two one double crochet into the next chain two skip two one double crochet into the next and we are going to repeat this make sure you always have seven in between the four double crochets just repeat that all the way across until uh, you're almost coming towards the end of your row So it's time to do my double crochets again to form a total of four double crochets. And then go back to chain two, skip two, one double crochet into the next. So we are done with the next seven spaces and then you're going to place one double crochet into the next three chains to make a total of four double crochets. And then you're going to chain two, skip two chains and then one double crochet into the next, chain two, skip two. One double crochet into the next chain two skip two one double crochet into the next chain two skip two and one double crochet into the next you should just make sure that when it comes to the end and the beginning of the row you have four spaces as you can see here we have a total of one two three four and then four on this side as well so that marks the end of row one so we're going on to row two row two you're going to make a chain of six turn your work and then skip the space and go into the double crochet with one double crochet then you're going to chain two go into the next double crochet with a double crochet chain two double crochet into the next double crochet so we should have a total of three spaces for row two and then things change you're going to go into the chain two space with a total of two double crochets and then one double crochet into the very first um, double crochet of the four double crochets below and then you are going to make a chain of ten one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and then you're going to prepare for a double crochet and skip two stitches and go into the the next stitch which is the last stitch of the four double crochets with one double crochet then you're going to place two double crochets into the chain space and then go into the next double crochet with a double crochet and that brings us to our next four double crochets and then you're going to chain two one double crochet into the next double crochet chain two one double crochet into the next double crochet chain two one double crochet into the next double crochet chain two one double crochet into the next double crochet and you're going to repeat that until we have one space left to get to the uh, four double crochets so we've reached that that point where we have one space to the four double crochets here and we are going to do the same exact thing that we did here you can see that one space and then we introduce the four double crochets so 
two double crochets into the chain space before the four double crochets one double crochet into the very first double crochet of the four double crochets chain 10 one double crochet after skipping two stitches so into the last double crochet of the four you're going to place one double crochet there and then two double crochets into the space and one double crochet into the next stitch so that makes a total of four double crochets so that is going to start forming loops as you can see here and uh, something to point out before we had a total of seven spaces in between the four double crochets and now we have a total of five spaces so that is going to create a diagonal form as we shall see later on and then um another thing that i forgot to mention was those points where we have four double crochets we have this 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 and this these will create our flowers so that's why i said a hundred chains will give me a total of four flowers across you can see we have one two three and four groups of four double crochets so that represents the number of flowers that you'll have for your for your panel sorry so you're going to chain two and go back into the mesh pattern chain two one double crochet into the next double crochet chain two one double crochet into the next double crochet and repeat that until you have one space left to the four double crochets and here we are and into that space before the four double crochets you're going to place two double crochets and then one double crochet into the very first double crochet of the four and then you're going to make a chain of ten after that skip two stitches and into the last stitch of the four you're going to place one double crochet And then two double crochets into the next chain two space and one double crochet into the next stitch and then you're going to just repeat that all the way across i'm going to walk you through the whole process because um, this pattern can be a little bit confusing so create your mesh pattern chain two one double crochet into the next So we've reached the space before the four double crochets and then now two double crochets into the space, one double crochet into the first stitch and then chain 10, one double crochet into the last stitch of the four after skipping two stitches of course. And then um, two double crochets into the space then one double crochet into the next stitch and as you can see now we have a total of one two and three spaces and that's exactly what's happening at the beginning of our row so what happens here is exactly what happens towards the end so just create your mesh pattern chain two Go into the next double crochet with a double crochet creating the very first space chain two go into the next double crochet chain two skip two chains and into the third chain you're going to place your double crochet there and that brings us to three spaces just as we have at the beginning of the row so that marks the end of row two let's go on to row three so row three is going to be a chain of six turn your work and then go into the next double crochet with a double crochet chain two and double crochet into the next and that brings us to a point where we have one space to the chain um to the four double crochets so let's see what to do from there once you place your double crochet here into the space before the four double crochets you're going to place two double crochets 
and then one double crochet into the very first stitch of the four and then you are going to make a chain of um, six one two three four five and six and then go into the chain 10 space and place a single crochet there so after this you're going to make a chain of six And then skip over all these and into the very last stitch of the four you're going to place one double crochet and then into the chain space you're going to place two double crochets and into the next stitch you're going to place one double crochet to make a total of four double crochets all together so this is what you should have and then you're going to continue with your mesh pattern chain two double crochet into the next chain two double crochet into the next double crochet chain two double crochet into the next double crochet and that brings us to a space right before the four double crochets and then from here you're going to place two double crochets into the space and then one double crochet into the very first double crochet of the four and at this point you're going to make a chain of six one two three four five six and you're going to place one single crochet into the chain 10 space and something to note here is that um we've moved from seven gaps to five gaps and now we have three gaps so that means the number of spaces reduces by two for each and every row and then when it comes to the edging the edge section uh, we have four and then three then now two and that means the next row will have one space here but when it comes to the middle part the spaces keep reducing by two for each and every row so unless stated otherwise because um this pattern switches in the middle and then increases and then decreases so i'll be pointing out all those things as we go along so you're going to make a chain of six go into the last stitch of the four and place a double crochet and then two double crochets into the next chain two space and one double crochet into the next stitch to make a total of four double crochets so you can see how this is going along we are creating a v pattern right now and then from here we're going to just continue to do the same exact thing just create the mesh and then when it comes to the flowers you know exactly what to do you're going to just repeat the same process as we've been doing here if you're unsure about what to do just look behind and see the point where you are and you see what you did before and that will give you a clue about what to do or look at the base and see how these v's are moving and you will definitely know what to do for example um when you chain two and then double crochet into the next and you're not sure of what to do next you're going to see we have one here one group of four double crochets and then for the next row um we have the four double crochets on either side of these four double crochets and you just look here and see what you did around here and that means we have reached that point where we are going to place two double crochets into the chain to space and then one double crochet into the very first double crochet of the four and then you're going to make a chain of six single crochet into the space and then make a chain of six and then skip over all this and go into the very last stitch of the four with a double crochet and then double crochet twice into the chain two space and one double crochet into the next stitch so i hope i'm explaining it the best way that i can because uh, i'm trying to break it down for you guys to really understand the stitch so if you're watching up to this point don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you are enjoying what you're seeing Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I am teaching something new. So 
let's go ahead create the mesh pattern continue to create the mesh pattern by chaining two and one double crochet into the next chain two one double crochet into the next and then we're going to just do the same exact thing two double crochets one double crochet into the first chain six single crochet into the chain ten chain six and then skip all this and go into the very last stitch of the four and place a double crochet and then two double crochets into the next uh, chain to space one double crochet into the next space uh, stitch sorry and this is what we have and you can see that this is perfectly correct because we have two spaces left and that's exactly what we are looking for at the end of the row because we have to mirror exactly what's happening at the beginning of the row so you're going to chain two go into the next double crochet with a double crochet chain two skip two chains and double crochet into the next chain and now we have two here and two here so we're going on to round row three sorry we're, we're not working in rounds so row three you're going to make a chain of six turn your work and we are going to go into the next double crochet with one double crochet and you know what this means because we have only one space to the four double crochets that means we are going to create our four double crochets but one is in the stitch two are in the space and one is on the edge of the four double crochets to fill up this gap so after this you're going to make a chain of seven and go into the chain six space right before the single crochet and place a single crochet and then single crochet into the next single crochet and single crochet into the space so these three single crochets are supposed to be close to one another so that's why i place them right this one right before the single crochet that we already have and then the one after so we have a total of three single crochets and you're going to make a chain of seven and then you're going to go into the last stitch of the uh four double crochets with one double crochet and then into the space with a total of two double crochets and then one double crochet into the next stitch to make a total of four double crochets so this is what we have right now and then we are going to make a chain of one sorry chain of two and then skip this space and one double crochet into the next and that brings us to the space before the four double crochets and you know exactly what to do by now two double crochets and then one double crochet into the very first stitch of the four double crochets and that creates one space in between remember we had seven here five here three here and now we have one because i told you each row will reduce by two so if we had three spaces for the previous row that means minus two which will give us one space so unless stated otherwise so um after this you are going to make your chain of seven and then go right before the single crochet and place a single crochet into the space and then one single crochet into the single crochet and then one single crochet right after the middle single crochet so we have a total of three single crochets we're going to make a chain of seven skip over all this and go to the last double crochet of the four and then two double crochets into the space and then one double crochet into the next double crochet and you can see we are still growing our flowers outwards we are still growing them they haven't yet started creating that diagonal shape to close in so 
um, you're going to just go ahead and repeat that same process as we did here just follow what's happening here and finish up your row so chain two skip the space one double crochet two double crochets into the next space and then one double crochet into the next stitch then uh, chain seven single crochet into the chain six space single crochet into the single crochet and single crochet into the next chain six space chain seven and then one double crochet into the last double crochet of the four two double crochets into the space and one double crochet into the next double crochet chain two skip the space and go into the next double crochet with a double crochet and then two double crochets into the next chain two space one double crochet into the next stitch chain seven single crochet into the chain six space single crochet into the single crochet then one single crochet into the next chain six space chain seven go into the last double crochet of the four with a double crochet and then two double crochets into the next space and then one double crochet into the next stitch to make a total of four double crochets so the goal is to have four double crochets on every group of double crochets as you can see from the previous uh, rows and now we are going to chain two skip two chains and then double crochet into the next chain so that marks the end of row four now we are going on to row five and row five is quite different because we are going to start with a chain of three this is because we are going to fill up this space we are now at the edge and we are still growing our flowers so if this is coming like this we haven't yet started moving inwards that's why this space should get a total of um, two double crochets so the chain three counts as one then two more double crochets which makes a total of three double crochets and then one double crochet into the very first double crochet of the four to make a total of uh, four double crochets here and then you're going to make a chain of eight and then go into the three single crochets with one single crochet into each one two and three so i've placed a single crochet into each and every single crochet in the middle and then you're going to make a chain of eight and then um we're going to go into this space remember we had seven here then five then three then one and then for the next row which is row five we shouldn't have a space so we're going to prepare for a double crochet after our chain of eight and go into the last stitch of the first four like that and then place two double crochets into the chain two space and then one double crochet into the next stitch So this is what you should have now um, after this you're going to make a chain of eight one single crochet into each of the middle uh, single crochets like that and then you are going to make a chain of eight And then do the same thing that we did here at this point so one double crochet into the last double crochet of the four two double crochets into the chain two space one double crochet into the first double crochet of the next four and then you are going to make a chain of eight one single crochet into each of the three single crochets 
chain eight and then do the same thing here one double crochet two double crochets into the space and then one double crochet into the next stitch then you're going to make a chain of eight and single crochet into the single crochets once into each and every single crochet chain eight and then go into the very last single the very last double crochet of the next group with a double crochet and then two double crochets into the space and then go into the fourth chain from the bottom one two three and into the fourth you're going to place one double crochet so that marks the end of row five and your work should look like this and you can see the flowers starting to form now row six is going to be uh, a little different as well because that's when we're going to start uh, bringing in our flowers at this point but then also creating uh, this mesh pattern to increase because now it has closed up you can see this now we want it to open up and we want the flowers to close up so that's the most interesting part of this pattern so uh, row six you're going to start off with a chain of six turn your work and you're going to skip two stitches and into the last double crochet you're going to place one double crochet there and then into this space you're going to place three more double crochets to make a total of four double crochets as you can see here and then you're going to make a chain of seven And go into each of the middle single crochets with a single crochet so one two and three and then you're going to make a chain of seven prepare for a double crochet and we are going to go into the space with a total of three double crochets one two three and into the very first stitch you're going to place the fourth like that and you can see the flower starting to come in you can see the direction taking shape so um, after this you're going to make a chain of two and then skip two stitches and go into the next stitch with one double crochet and then into the chain seven space the chain eight space you're going to place three more double crochets like that and then you're going to make a chain of seven and single crochet once into each and every single crochet in the middle and you can see we had closed up the mesh pattern but now we've introduced a space here that means we are now opening it up uh, for it to grow so after this you're going to make a chain of seven three double crochets into the chain eight space and then the fourth double crochet is placed into the stitch like that then you're going to chain two and uh, one double crochet after skipping two stitches and then three more double crochets into the chain eight space that's exactly what has happened here so repeat that all the way across chain seven single crochet into each single crochet chain seven and then three double crochets into the chain eight space 
and then into that very first stitch one double crochet chain two skip two stitches double crochet into the next three double crochets into the chain eight space chain seven one single crochet into each of the middle single crochets and then chain seven um into the chain eight space three double crochets one double crochet into the very first double crochet of the next four and then you're going to chain two and skip two stitches and on top of the chain three at the end which counts as the very first double crochet here you're going to place one double crochet there and this brings us to something that looks like this we have one space here and one space at the edge here that's when you know that your work is perfectly good and you should always try to cross check because uh, something can go wrong and then you have to unravel your work and then come back so uh, we're going on to row seven and we are going to chain six turn your work and uh, we're going to go into the very first stitch of the four with one double crochet creating our very first space here then chain two skip two stitches and one double crochet into the next so something to point out is remember we had four here then three then two then one then no space now on this row we have one space and then now there are two so we are increasing the number of spaces now so after this you're going to go into the chain seven space and place three more double crochets then you're going to make a chain of six go into the middle single crochet of the three and place one single crochet chain six go into the chain seven space with three double crochets then one double crochet into the very first double crochet of the next group of four to make a total of four double crochets and then you're going to chain two skip two stitches one double crochet into the next chain two skip the chain two space one double crochet into the next chain two skip two stitches one double crochet into the next so guys you can see let me first finish this one uh into the chain seven space you're going to place three more double crochets to make a total of four double crochets and as you can see we've grown one space into three so that will create that diagonal shape and then you're going to make a chain of six single crochet into the middle single crochet chain six um three double crochets into the chain seven space and then one double crochet into the very first stitch of the four and then create the mesh pattern chain two skip two stitches one double crochet chain two skip the space and then one double crochet into the next chain two skip two stitches and one double crochet into the next and then we're going to just keep repeating that what we've been doing before One, two, three, four, five, six. One single crochet into the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, three double crochets into the chain seven space. And then one double crochet into the very first stitch of the four. Look at what we have. You can see the flowers are closing up. And the mesh pattern is now growing so chain two 
skip two stitches one double crochet into the next chain two skip the space one double crochet into the next um chain two skip two one double crochet into the next and then three double crochets into the space chain six one single crochet into the middle single crochet of the three chain six three double crochets into the chain seventh space and then one double crochet into the next double crochet to make a total of four and now you're going to chain two skip two stitches one double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip two chains and one double crochet into the last sorry the next chain which brings us to two spaces just as we have at the beginning so we're going on to row eight and we're going to make a chain of six and turn our work so you can see one two three and four flowers turn your work and then one double crochet into the next double crochet and this um, is uh, you can see one two that means the next one should have three spaces on the edge so chain two skip the space one double crochet into the next chain two skip two stitches and one double crochet into the last stitch of the four double crochets and then into the space you're going to place three more double crochets to make a total of four and then you're going to chain two and go into the next chain six space and place a total of three double crochets like that and then one double crochet into the next stitch to make a total of four so you can see how the flower is closing up and then we are now going on to the mesh part chain two skip two stitches one double crochet into the next chain two skip two one double crochet into the next chain two one double crochet into the next chain two one double crochet into the next after skipping the space of course because now the pattern is kind of obvious if the mesh closed now we are opening it up and uh, if we have three spaces here that means the next one we are aiming for five spaces which is exactly this and then go into the chain six space with a total of three double crochets to make a total of four and then you are going to make a chain of two and go into the next chain six space with a total of two double crochets sorry three double crochets and then one double crochet into the very first stitch so i hope now everything is making sense you're going to continue until the end of your row chain two skip two stitches one double crochet chain two skip the space and create your mesh pattern until you get to your next chain space so we've gotten to the next chain six space and we're going to just do the same exact thing place three double crochets to make a total of four then chain two go into the next chain six space with a total of three double crochets and then one double crochet into the next stitch and then create the mesh pattern
and we are back to the chain six space just do the same thing three double crochets chain two and three double crochets into the next chain six space one double crochet into the next stitch and then we are going to make two chains skip two stitches one double crochet into the next chain two skip the next space and one double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip two chains and one double crochet into the next chain and that marks the end of uh, row eight now we are going on to row nine and row nine is going to start off with a chain of six turn our work and then one double crochet into the next double crochet chain two one double crochet into the next chain two one double crochet into the next chain two skip two stitches and one double crochet into the next and this one is going to close up our flower entirely so into the chain two space you're going to place two double crochets and then one double crochet into the next stitch so you can see this flower is a complete diamond shape so after this you're going to go on to um, chain two skip two stitches one double crochet into the next so we are forming the mesh pattern now okay and as you can see here we have increased from one to three to five to seven spaces now one two three four five six and seven and now um, into the chain two space you're going to place two double crochets then one double crochet into the next stitch just like we did here you can see the resemblance of what's going on and now uh, go back into the mesh pattern chain two skip two stitches one double crochet into the next chain two skip the next space one double crochet into the next and repeat that until you get to the next uh, part of closing up the next flower so you can see this one two three four five six if you don't have seven that means you haven't yet finished the mesh pattern so once you get to seven you go into the chain two space and place two double crochets and then one double crochet into the next stitch and after that um we're going to chain two skip two stitches one double crochet into the next and continue to work the mesh pattern until you get to the next flower that needs to be closed up to create the diamond shape so we are here and I'm closing it up and after this you're going to chain two skip two stitches one double crochet into the next and then um, chain two skip the next space one double crochet into the next chain two double crochet into the next double crochet chain two skip two chains and one double crochet into the next double crochet and now at this point you can see we have four spaces here on the edge and then we have four spaces as well here and this brings us to the resemblance of the row that looks exactly like this and that is row one and you can see we have one two three four and then the four double crochets which is exactly what's happening at row nine 
at your name. So row nine is exactly the same as row one. Looks exactly the same as row one. So um, let me just demonstrate row ten, and then I'll leave you guys to work your panels the way you want. So row ten is going to be exactly the same as row two. So you're going to chain six, turn your work, and go into the next double crochet with a double crochet, chain two, double crochet into the next double crochet, chain two, and double crochet into the next double crochet. And we can see that happening at this point. If you're not sure of what you did for row two, then you're going to just look back here, just backtrack until you get here and see exactly what you did we worked until we had one space to the four double crochets and then into the chain two space we created two double crochets and then double crochet uh, made one double crochet into the very first double crochet of the four and then chained ten and then skipped two stitches and then into the third made a double crochet and then two double crochets into the next space and then one double crochet into the next so let's see you see this um we had this the four double crochets then chained 10 and then made the four double crochets on the other side of the four double crochets here in the middle so this side and then this side so we're going to just repeat row two all the way across and then row 11 is going to be the same exact as row three so i'm going to put for you timestamps in the comment section of the rows that you have to follow exactly uh, we're going to just keep repeating this process from row two through row nine we are going to repeat rows two to nine again and again until we have the length of the panel that we want for our back panel so it doesn't matter how many flowers that you have across it's going to be the same exact process that you follow whether you have two or you have three uh, i'm going to work my back panel and finish it i believe um, i'm going to do a total of three flowers upwards so i'm going to keep working rows two through nine until i have a total of three flowers upwards because i'm going for a cropped version if you want something longer then just keep repeating those rows two to nine until you get the length of the panel that you want for your back panel and then i'll meet you back to show you what to do from there Alright guys, so I went ahead to do a total of 25 rows and you can see I have a total of 1, 2 and 3 flowers upwards and I felt like this was just enough length for my for the top that I'm going for but if you want your top longer, you can add more rows uh, repeating row 2 through 9 so I have a total of 25 rows right now and this will represent my back panel or front panel. So you're going to go ahead and make an identical piece for your front panel. I told you I was starting with my back panel and um, your front panel should uh, look exactly like your back panel. So here is mine and you can see the number of rows are the same. Uh, I was planning to make uh, a front tie version. Let me know in the comment section if you would like that version from me so that we don't have something that's so closed here. We can open it up and then create a v-neck. Let me know if you would like such a tutorial in the comment section so that I put it into consideration. So for this version, you're going to have two identical panels, the front and the back. And then once you get done with that, you're going to put these aside. And now we're going to start working on our sleeves. So for the sleeves, I already have mine done. 
but uh, we're going to repeat the same exact process. The only difference here is we are going to make a total of three flowers across. Remember the main body of the of the top had four flowers across. That's why we did um, a starting chain of multiples of 25 four times so that we get a total of four flowers. But now this I started with a chain of 80 which is a multiple of 25 three times plus five so if this is the same look that you're going for this will fit from a size small to medium so if you if you're a larger size then you are going to maybe have four flowers so that the sleeve is not very thin because we, we're not going for a tight fitting um this top is going to be loose fitted so um <clears throat> for this i started with a chain of 80 and then went into the eighth chain from the hook and repeated the same exact process as we did for the body of the top both at the front panel and the back panel and we created these lovely flowers and now um, lengthwise I did a total of five flowers so the main body is three flowers upwards and for the sleeve I did one two three four and five I did five flowers for the sleeve because I wanted my sleeves to even pass by the, the wrist area if possible. And then uh, from there you are going to make another sleeve which is this one. Sorry, I have a stitch marker here. Okay, so you're going to make an identical piece as um, your first sleeve now we have two identical pieces that are going to work as our sleeves and once you're done with that um, all the pieces of the body of our top are done and now it's time to put everything together so the first thing that you're going to do is um, bring one of the pieces of the body either the back panel or the front panel and it's okay because we have an identical look for both so like this and then bring the second one which is my front panel so here it is okay so i'm going to make sure that the tails i left after working are on opposite sides you can see this one is on this side and then this one is on this side so uh we are now going to bring one of the sleeves so you can see front panel back panel and then the sleeves um okay let me get one with a tail i forgot to leave a tail behind on one of them so you're going to align your work like this. I hope it's making sense. Let the sleeve run to the side like that. Now we are joining the sleeve onto the main body of the top and we are going to identify the exact middle of our sleeve. So we have these spaces here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the main, um, the middle part of uh, our sleeve are these four double crochets here. And we're going to put a stitch marker. You can just eyeball it if you don't have stitch markers. And now uh, we're going to start joining. You're going to count how many spaces you have towards one side of the of one of the panels so we have one two three four five six seven eight we count the four double crochets as a space because all these four double crochets are going to go into one of the spaces here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and now you're going to count from the second space we don't consider this one because this one is going to attach onto the double crochets where we place the stitch marker. So from the second one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11 and 12. So we're going to start joining from this row that has the four double crochets at the beginning. So I made sure that I placed my work on the wrong side. So I'm using one of the tails that I left behind. So what we are going to do is place two double crochets into each space, two single crochets, sorry, two single crochets, then go into the next space, two single crochets, and make sure I don't uh, stitch them so tightly so that we don't have a very tight joining. So into each space, two single crochets, and I told you that when it comes to the to the four double crochets, we are going to fit them into one space. So we're going to skip one space, one stitch, and then go into the next stitch with one single crochet, and then go into the next stitch with one single crochet, joining onto the other side, and then eliminate the last stitch, and then go into the next space with two single crochets, and continue to do this all the way across. One space equals one row on the other side. So my yarn is done. Let's see if I can get some more from here. All right, so we are continuing to join our sleeve onto the main body of the top using single crochet stitches. All right, so this is the spot where we put our stitch marker. Let me first remove this so that it's not uh, distracting us. So you're going to remove your stitch marker from here and then go into the second stitch. I told you we eliminate the first double crochet of the four, go into the second stitch and go into the first space with one single crochet and then go into the second stitch and grab onto the next space which is on the opposite panel with one single crochet and then continue going into the spaces So as you can see, the last space is joining onto a space that has three double crochets, which is exactly mirrored on the opposite side where we started joining from. Because we started from a space that had um, our four double crochets. So from here, you are now at this point, we've joined the sleeve onto the two panels of the main body. This is the front panel, back panel, and then the sleeve. And now you're going to fold over your work like this, like this. Just fold it over like that. And then you are going to decide which part you're going to join first, because we still have a tail here. You can decide to go to the to the sleeve part or the main body part so i'll go with the sleeve i'm going to just join like this and make sure your work is on the wrong side where you see this ridge that we've created with a single crochet and now i'm going to work all the way across the sleeve joining the two ends together so that we can form a tube for our sleeve so single crochet two times into each and every space joining the two sides together and as i told you make sure your stitches are not very tight
all right so we're coming to the end of the first sleeve and i'm placing a total of three single crochets into the very last space and the moment you're done with that as you can see everything is coming together okay so this is what we have so far and we are going to still lay our work onto the wrong side like this and we are going to attach our second sleeve just like we did for the first one and i'll meet you guys back when i'm done with that leave the opening of the front and back panel the upper opening of the front and back panel we shall work on it later on so you're just going to go ahead and join your second sleeve onto the main body and then we shall see what to do from there okay guys so i am done joining the sleeve part and uh we are now going to attach our yarn and join this side section of the top remember we went for the sleeve so that means the side of the top is still very open and we need to close it up so we're going to get our yarn get your yarn and join the sides of the body just like we did for the sleeve so nothing should change just place two single crochets into each and every row and make sure you don't stitch very tightly and don't forget to place three single crochets into the very last stitch after that you're going to chain one cut your yarn and then we're going to do the same exact thing on the opposite side So I've started from the bottom, that means I start with three single crochets into the first space and then continue to place two single crochets in all the remaining spaces. And make sure you're working this on the wrong side of your work because uh, we don't want the same line to be on the outside part of the work. All right this is what you should have after your last space you're going to place one slip stitch in one of the single crochets that we have on the sleeve or the upper panel just make a slip stitch and chain one cut your yarn all right so at this point we are done with the main body of our top we are done joining the sleeves uh joining the main body of the top and now it's time to flip it over onto the right side let me first get rid of these strands All right, so turn your work onto the right side. Oh, this yarn feels so good. It's like very soft. And you can see this is the seam line and it looks very, very organized. And then you're going to turn your work onto the right side. okay so this is what we have 
and now we have uh, those long chains that we left behind on the front panels back panel as you can see here uh, this is going to be up to you the the way you join the upper section is going to be up to you because uh, when I posted this on the community page um, some people were asking how they they can achieve the off shoulder look so this is how to determine whether you want to go for the off shoulder or not you're going to try on your top and if you like the fitting then you're going to you're not going to join the upper section on this side and this side but if you want to close up a bit and get a smaller opening for the neckline then you are going to use those tails that we left behind on the front and back panel so that uh, we use those tails to join the the sides of the neckline so for me i'm not going for the off shoulder look so I am going to just do this, turn my work onto the wrong side, not entirely, just the neck part, and I'm going to start joining a few stitches until I think the first space after the four double crochets, I think, or the second space, just to close up my neckline a little bit. So we're going with uh, single crochet stitches as well two single crochets into each space and then when it comes to the double crochets this time we have double crochets on each side so we go into each double crochet with one single crochet joining onto the one on the opposite side and then into the space place two single crochets then two single crochets into the next space and I think this coverage is just enough for me after this I'm going to chain one and pull through now you can see we have closed up the neckline a little bit it's not so extended like on this side so um, if you do it on this side that means you have to do it on this side as well so go ahead and do the same thing So I joined until the second space after the four double crochets and then chain one, pull through and this is what we have for our neckline. I feel like this is, this will just be comfortable for me. And now the main body of the sweater is literally done. You're going to weave in all your ends. So after weaving in all your ends, this is the final outfit, the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you in my next video. Bye!